What is up, BitChute and YouTube? Welcome to our meteorology segment. And we're looking at wave height here as we've got some weather warnings at Hawaii. So let's take a look at some high seas. Some high seas happening there in the central Pacific Ocean. Some 20 foot waves occurring to the east of Hawaii. And if you're wondering where the world's largest waves are located, well, I think they're located in the Southern Ocean. Check it out. Right by Antarctica, we've got 32-foot waves down there. So yeah, one of the great features of nullschool.net is you can look at significant wave height. And we like to show different features based on the different conditions that we find on planet Earth. So we're going to go back to the surface winds. There are the surface winds of the eastern world. And it is pretty windy in the southern ocean. Here is the jet stream scenario for this side of the planet. And we've got an anticyclone here in Southeast Asia. That is a heat dome. See that clockwise rotation there associated with high pressure? High pressure and high heat showing up in Chad. Chad, hot air in Chad. Chad is full of hot air, okay? The U.S. doesn't have any patents on hot air, okay? Intellectual capital. It's the most amazing, the most beautiful, the most spectacular jet streams in the universe. The ones that are over the United States. Okay. Doubled up jet stream over the northern U.S. And cold air plunging down from Canada into the southeastern U.S. We're getting some cold temperatures here in Pennsylvania. We'll show the temperature anomaly forecast here momentarily. Some huge bends in the jet stream happening there. And then a convergence in the North Atlantic. Here are the surface winds of this side of the planet. Surface winds for the Americas. Last but not least, the surface winds of Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. And here are the jet streams of this side of the planet. We got a backward jet stream over the central Indian Ocean and the northern African continent. Even part of the Atlantic Ocean featuring a backward jet stream there blowing east to west instead of the normal west to east mode. And let's continue on. Here's your weather.gov map. And again, we've got flash flood warnings around Hawaii as a near tropical system is moving in, it looks like. Also some gale warnings around Hawaii. So perhaps some good surf continuing there. If you've got some good Hawaiian surf imagery, hit us up on Instagram. Maybe we'll even feature you on the channel. We've also got some special marine warnings here, once again around the Florida Panhandle Gulf Coast. Things like water spouts perhaps happening there. If your county's lit, head to weather.gov and click your county. Looks like some flood situations happening in Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Check out the amount of lightning. July is the world's lightning month. And the U.S. is definitely coming through with some heavy lightning over the past about 10 hours. That is a lot of lightning. And let's check our real-time lightning map briefly. This was not a live streamed video. However, since we've got some terrestrial strikes, let's see what we've got. Some significant cells here in southern Minnesota. Let's just stay zoomed out there since there's so much lightning to cover. And some lightning happening in Russia once again. Let us know in the comments if you think Putin is creating lightning. So here's your lower 48 GFS pressure and precipitation forecast. 
That is 72 hours of pressure and precipitation based on the GFS model. And you can see some pretty heavily concentrated storms showing up there in Florida. Also the north central portion of the country. Looks like a bit of a downgrade from the forecast that we showed yesterday. How about a temperature anomaly forecast? This is the same model, the GFS. And just keep in mind the scale that's showing you here is temperature in degrees Celsius. And some cold temperatures coming to Pennsylvania. Also places like Illinois, Indiana, southeastern Missouri, and some big temperature swings happening there in the southern Rockies. Here's your pressure map from windy.com. You can see some variable pressure happening here in the U.S. You can see some lows and some highs. Powerful anticyclone happening here in the northern Pacific. See a clockwise rotation there, the way anticyclones indeed rotate in the northern hemisphere. Here's your radar.weather.gov map, radar.weather.gov. Ground-based systems that show vertical motion of water, water droplets in the air column. That is the Doppler radar. We'll focus on the lower 48 as we do. And the southeast coast getting some rain there. Here is your shortwave radiation map showing clouds and fog when it's too dark to use the visible satellite. And there is the water vapor map. You can see rapid cloud nucleation once again happening off of the southeast coast of the U.S. And you can see the jet stream dipping way down, pulling some cold air down into the southeastern U.S. This upper level low down here north of Cuba is now gaining some strength. You can see that counterclockwise rotation. And it's getting a little more moist. It looks like the Saharan dust is over here. This is a high pressure zone here. And so now a little bit of additional convection happening there. You can see some rapid cloud nucleation happening there. Some hot water below that upper level low. So here's a recap, the U.S. Doppler radar, the shortwave radiation map, and there's the water vapor. That should help things out if you're unable to forecast your weather. By looking at the Doppler, the water vapor map should do it. We hope you're able to do it, and when I say do it, I mean forecast your own weather. Next time, do it. Press like, subscribe, leave us a comment, etc. We'll see you soon at the Smash News Network, least busted name and news. And may that nonsense be absent from your video subscription feed.